Hello, my name is Barbara. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a mapping set and account rules. Mapping set rules are used to derive the cost center value for the account combination and its corresponding account rules. There are many different ways to build the account rules. In this video, we'll use one of them. Here, we define an account combination and then override a segment with a segment rule on this full account combination. I'll assign the cost center value for the account combination to the loan receivables journal line. The value is dependent on whether the loan type is adjustable or fixed rate. A journal entry is created based on the account rule I'll create. Let's begin by navigating to the setup and maintenance work area. I'll use the FAH implementation project. I'll go to the manage mapping set task. First, I'll define the mapping set that I'll use in one of our account rules. Mapping set rules provide a highly intuitive interface to enable the mapping of combinations of input values to a specific account or segment value. To define the combinations of possible source values, I'll define a mapping of these values. I'll enter a mapping set name and a short name. I'll create this mapping set for the cost center segment. The output value will be dependent on the loan type source input value. For example, if the loan type is an adjustable rate, then this will change the cost center segment value. Now, in the input sources region, I'll select the loan type source. I'll specify the chart of accounts and which segment to use. and I'll add the input and output details. The output value will be dependent on the loan type source input value. For example, if the loan type is an adjustable rate, then this will change the cost center segment value. The mapping set output value depends on the refinance type source input value. We're done with the mapping set. Now I'll create the account rules. Let's go to the Manage Account Rules task. First, I'll define an account rule for the cash journal line. I'll enter the account rule name and a short name. I'll select the chart of accounts and accept the default account combination rule type. I'll create a line in the rules region using a constant value type and I'll enter the account. Now I'll save and create another account rule. I'll define this account rule for the loan receivables journal line that uses the mapping set I created. The cost center segment for this account rule is derived from the loan type transaction source value. This time I'll select the segment rule type and select the cost center account segment. And now I'll enter the rule details, selecting the mapping set value type and the mapping set that I created as the value. I'll save and create another account rule. I've created a loan receivables account combination rule with a constant value type. When the account combination rule and the segment rule are assigned to the loan receivables line rule, the segment rule will override the 000 department segment with a valid output value from the mapping set rule dependent on the loan type. And that's it for account rules. Thank you.